Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am the guy who picked Calvin Cater to defeat Josh Emmett. And I'm here to talk about Andre Feely versus Lucas Almeida. Almeida's 14-2 and two is a pro, 32 years old, and he's given up three inches of reach to 33-year-old Feely, who is 22 and 10. Lucas Almeida, he's got all finishes, 14 finishes in his 14 wins, nine by knockout, five via submission. And most impressively was the Mike Trezano knockout uh, deep into round three. That was a fight in which both guys were hurt with the same punches, left hooks, and Lucas Almeida was the last man standing. And Mike Trezano, I think, has been kicked out of the UFC or, you know, uh, was cut, but he he definitely belongs. Uh, and Lucas Almeida's two losses include one by submission, one by decision. He lost by decision on the Contender Series against Daniel Zellhuber. Daniel Zellhuber, young athletic kid, doing well in the UFC, and uh, he was able to uh, take over the fight after Lucas, I think, uh, was a little discouraged from not being able to get him out of there in round one, and Daniel was able to outstrike him on the outside. Pat Sabatini did the opposite, and he outgrappled him on the inside. Ripped him to the mat and dominated him. Beat him bloody and choked him out deep in round two. That was an eye-opening loss. Made Lucas Almeida look really vulnerable. Uh, Pat Sabatini is an excellent grappler, despite how he looked in his last fight. He's an excellent fighter and an excellent grappler. And um, I think, you know, Andre Feely is underrated as a grappler, but still not able to do what Pat Sabatini did when he had his way with Lucas. But it still doesn't mean that it's not a weakness that Feely can't exploit, and I do think he can. Andre Feely, 22-10, and 10, I still think of him as a striker, and he is a striker, first and foremost. But he's a guy that has shown enough well-rounded skills throughout the years, and he's still in his prime at 33 years old, where I think uh, he can... Uh, duplicate some of that success that Pat Sabatini had and rip Lucas Almeida to the mat. Uh, Lucas Almeida just uh, looked way too vulnerable there, where a guy like Andre Feely, who despite being tapped multiple times and knocked out multiple times, he seems like a very healthy fighter at 33 years old. And I think uh, he's more well-rounded than Lucas Almeida. I think if Feely is able to get inside and rip him to the mat, he's going to control him win the round, keep himself safe from any submission attacks, and uh, beat up Lucas Almeida, slow him down a little bit. Feely's got three TKO losses. One was an injury, and then Yair Rodriguez hit him with a jumping switch kick. That was a f many years ago. And Joe Anderson Brito knocked him out in round one. Joe Anderson Brito's a round one monster. And a round two monster, as I got totally wrong a few weeks ago. Um, and he was submitted twice. Godofredo Pepe, who was a very slick fighter back in his day, triangle choked him. And Max Holloway, guillotine choked him in round three. Not a lot of shame there. So he's been vulnerable throughout the years, but he's been in the UFC for a long, long time, Andre Feely. A lot closer to 10 years than five years, I'm, I'm assuming, at this point. And um, he's uh, really tough to put away. He has been outgrappled. Bryce Mitchell, Sadiq Yusuf, you guys had a lot of success out grappling him. He's been outstruck before, but here I think he's the much, much more polished fighter than Lucas Almeida. And I think he's healthy enough where Lucas Almeida can't just clip him and get him out of there. I think Lucas would have to hurt him a few times to um, uh, get Andre Feely out of there, and certainly you'd have to hurt him multiple times to win a decision. So I'm picking Andre Feely. I think Andre Feely wins. I think he mixes up his grappling, keeps himself safe on the outside, and wins a decision. Andre Feely, by decision, is the pick. I'll wait to see the props, but his money line is minus 175. So I bet on that. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.